the Kenyan police force, deployed to Haiti under the banner of a United Nations-mandated Multinational Security Support MSS, mission, is facing mounting pressure to deliver on its promise to bring the Caribbean nation's rampant gang violence under control. Nearly six weeks after their arrival, the initial optimism that greeted the elite Kenyan officers has given way to frustration and disillusionment among many Haitians. On June 25, 2024, the first contingent of 200 elite Kenyan police officers landed in Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, with much fanfare. Clad in combat gear and waving the Kenyan national flag, they marched off their Kenya Airways flight with confidence, chanting in Swahili as they prepared to tackle the daunting task ahead. A second batch of 200 officers arrived three weeks later, reinforcing the mission's resolve. The Kenyan force, intended as the vanguard of the MSS mission, was expected to bring much-needed muscle to the beleaguered Haitian National Police, PNH, who have been struggling to contain the deadly offensive by criminal gangs that have terrorized the capital and much of the country for over three years. Initially, the Kenyan police were welcomed with open arms by Haitian government leaders and media alike. Haitian radio station Radio Independent FM even posted a greeting in Creole, declaring, Haiti is the country of all Africans. Since you are black, Haiti is your home. However, this warm reception has cooled as Haitians grow increasingly impatient with the mission's perceived lack of progress. Despite joint patrols with Haitian police, the Kenyan mission has faced criticism for failing to make a significant impact on gang violence. The gangs, undeterred by the foreign presence, have tightened their grip on the capital's suburbs and continue to launch attacks on police stations and major highways. Local media outlets and social media users have voiced their disappointment. Actions, not words, has become a common refrain, with some accusing the Kenyan police of mere theatrics and labeling them tourists. Even with reports of over 100 gang members being killed in operations under a state of emergency, public skepticism persists. The situation was further exacerbated by the injury of a Kenyan police officer during a gang attack in late July. The incident underscored the dangerous reality on the ground and the challenges the Kenyan force faces in trying to restore order in Haiti. The mission's difficulties have not been limited to gang resistance. A lack of adequate equipment has hampered the Kenyan officers' ability to respond effectively to threats. In one instance, an armored convoy came under heavy fire during a night patrol in downtown Port-au-Prince, but the Kenyan troops could not return fire due to missing turrets on their vehicles. This tactical shortcoming has drawn criticism from security experts, who question the mission's preparedness and professionalism. Kenyan police commanders, however, have remained optimistic, asserting that once the mission reaches full operational capacity, they will be able to take on the gangs effectively. But for many Haitians, the clock is ticking, and patience is wearing thin. Haiti's interim Prime Minister Gary Conil has acknowledged the high expectations placed on the Kenyan mission, admitting that the arrival of the foreign force has created a sense of urgency among the Haitian population. Public confidence in the mission is seen as key to stabilizing the country and rebuilding the Haitian state. However, delays in the delivery of promised resources and equipment have only added to the frustration. The Prime Minister also faces the challenge of managing expectations while avoiding the risk of political destabilization. Conil is aware that if the MSS mission fails to meet public expectations, it could undermine the credibility of the transitional government and the fragile consensus it has managed to build. As the Kenyan mission settles into Port-au-Prince, the challenges it faces are daunting. Gangs continue to taunt the authorities and the public is growing increasingly restless for concrete results. The mission's success will depend not only on the ability of the Kenyan force to overcome logistical and tactical challenges, but also on the international community's commitment to providing the necessary support. The situation in Haiti remains volatile, and the Kenyan police force has no time to lose. The world is watching closely, and the stakes could not be higher.